in health news tonight, a non-invasive approach to detecting skin cancer. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is in our New Haven newsroom tonight with how it impacts patient and doctor. Jocelyn? And Darren, Yukon Health Center is the only one in the state offering it. It is a laser imaging tool that looks at the skin at the cellular level. For the patient, it could mean avoiding a biopsy, which can be disfiguring. Hi, Nance. I'm Jody. Patients like Nancy Riccio are monitored closely. Scars on the right forearm and forehead. I have a basal cell that was removed two years ago. Are where doctors removed skin cancer cells. When I was a teenager, I baked out in the sun back then with the baby oil and the... A two-centimeter mole is getting a closer look by medical assistant Jody D'Antonio at Yukon Health Center but this time using the latest technology. Um, what I want to do is confocal it, see if there's any abnormal cells underneath. This is a confocal microscope, a non-invasive tool to detect skin cancer. Do a dermatoscope picture, and you're going to see what that tiny little spot looks like up close. This innovative procedure takes ultrasound images of the layers of the skin, so there is no incision to get a sample of the tissue a biopsy, generally a painful procedure, which Nancy had to undergo twice. You feel it pulling and tugging, and it's it, you see your skin coming off. My goal is to not biopsy a mole, but to biopsy a melanoma. I, I want to hit pay dirt. I don't want to hurt them for nothing. Dr. Jane Grant Kells, chair of dermatology. There's nothing that replaces the biopsy, but it does eliminate some lesions that tell and it tells me that some lesions don't need to be biopsied it's very accurate because I'm actually looking at cells no pain no scar and quicker results see how it looks like a honeycomb yeah. that's normal and deeper into the dermis so it's perfectly benign so a definitive answer nothing there nothing nothing evasive nothing cut my skin and a less stressful visit for Nancy Riccio Dr. Grant Kels tells me the goal is to reduce the number of unnecessary biopsies and still able to detect skin cancer at an early stage, and that benefits patients like Nancy Riccio with a family history. Darren?